Welcome back. Today, we're diving deep into the world of personal finance to uncover the hidden habits that may be keeping you stuck in the vicious cycle of financial struggle. We all want to break free from the paycheck-to-paycheck -paycheck lifestyle and achieve financial freedom, right? Well, get ready, because, in this video, we're revealing the 10 habits that could be keeping you poor. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, please hit that subscribe button and click on the bell icon to receive timely notifications. Habits are powerful. They can help you achieve your goals, and they can also hold you back from reaching them. So, if you want to be on the path to financial freedom, make sure that your money habits are serving you well. These habits can be so ingrained in our daily lives that we don't even realize the negative impact they're having on our finances. But it's time to break free from these bad habits and start building wealth, and here are 10 ways to do just that. So without further ado, let's jump in. Habit number 1, The Impulse Buyer. The Thrill of a Spontaneous Purchase. We've all been there. But here's the thing, those impulsive buys can drain your bank account faster than you can say, sale. So, it's time to take a step back and evaluate. Ask yourself, do I really need this item? Can I wait a day or two before making the purchase? By giving yourself that breathing room, you'll often find that the urge to buy dissipates, saving you a significant amount of money in the long run. Impulse buying should also be avoided because most often than not, the item that you're buying is not something that you need. Instead, it's just a want. Needing and wanting are two very different things and it's important to distinguish between the two so that you don't end up spending money on items you don't really need. Habit number two, the minimum payer. Let's talk about credit card debt. If you're only paying the minimum amount due each month, you're falling into a trap. Those interest rates on credit card balances can be astronomical, and by paying only the minimum, you're prolonging your debt and wasting your hard-earned money. It's time to break free. Make it a priority to pay more than the minimum. Focus on tackling one card at a time and work towards eliminating your credit card debt altogether. Trust me, your future self will thank you. Credit card debt can also be avoided by setting up a monthly savings plan. If you put aside the amount that you spend each month on your credit card bills, you'll be able to pay them off and start saving for other things. Try automating your payments so that they come out of your checking account automatically, this will protect against late fees and help ensure that your debt doesn't get any worse while you're working on it. Habit number 3, The Convenience Addict. The Allure of Convenience. Ordering takeout or relying on those so tempting pre-packaged meals might seem harmless, but let me tell you, it's wreaking havoc on your wallet. Start cooking at home. Meal prepping and shopping for groceries in bulk can save you a ton of money in the long run. Not only will you have more control over your ingredients and nutrition, but you'll also discover the joy of saving money while eating delicious, home-cooked meals. Over time cooking at home will become second nature, and you won't even miss those takeout menus. Habit number 4, The Brand Snob. We've all fallen victim to the allure of brand names. But here's a little secret, sometimes, those generic or store brand options are just as good, if not better, than their pricey counterparts. It's time to break free from the chains of branding. Take a step back and consider alternatives. Try out those generic products and compare them to your usual brands. You'll often find that the quality is on par, if not superior, and you'll be saving a significant amount of money with each purchase. The best way to break the habit is to start shopping at a variety of stores and comparing prices. You'll quickly realize that you don't need to spend top dollar for quality products, there are plenty of affordable options available. This will also help you build up your arsenal of go-to brands so that when you do want to splurge, it's on something special instead of an everyday staple. Habit number 5, The No-Budgeter. The dreaded, B word. Budgeting. But trust me, failing to create and stick to a budget is a surefire way to stay trapped in the cycle of poverty. It's time to embrace the power of budgeting. Start by tracking your income and expenses. Look at where your money is going each month and allocate specific amounts for different categories, such as rent, groceries, transportation, and entertainment. By having a clear budget in place, you'll gain control over your finances, identify areas where you can cut back, and be able to save and invest more effectively. The key is to create a budget that works for you, 
based on your income and the lifestyle you want to live. Be sure to include both mandatory expenses, such as rent or mortgage payments, and discretionary expenses, such as eating out. Habit number six, the debt denier. Debt. It's a topic that can make even the bravest of us shudder. But here's the hard truth, ignoring your debt won't make it disappear. It's time to face it head on. Start by gathering all the information about your debts, whether it's student loans, credit card debt, or outstanding bills. Take a deep breath and develop a plan of action. When you take on debt, it can feel like a weight on your shoulders. The thought of paying off that debt may seem daunting and overwhelming at times. But there are steps you can take to make the process easier and faster so that one day you'll be free from those bills once and for all. The key is to prioritize your debts, focusing on the highest interest rate ones first. You can also seek professional advice if necessary, but remember that taking action is the key to financial freedom. It won't be easy, but with determination and a solid plan, you can conquer your debts and pave the way to a brighter financial future. Habit number 7, The No Saver. Saving money, it's a habit that everyone should cultivate. If you're living paycheck to paycheck without a safety net, you're setting yourself up for financial disaster. It's time to break free from the cycle of zero savings. Make saving a priority in your life. Start by setting aside a percentage of your income each month. Even if it's just a small amount, it adds up over time and provides you with a sense of security. Create an emergency fund to cover unexpected expenses and start building towards your long-term financial goals. Remember, every dollar saved is a step closer to financial stability. Habit number 8, The Investment Avoider. Investments, the realm of Wall Street and financial wizards, right? Wrong. Many people shy away from investing because they perceive it as risky or complicated. But here's the thing not investing can be even riskier in the long run. It's time to break free from fear and embrace the power of investing. Educate yourself about different investment options, such as stocks, bonds, mutual funds, or real estate. Start small and seek professional guidance if needed. The power of compounding can work wonders for your financial future. By investing wisely in diversifying your portfolio, you can grow your wealth and achieve your long-term financial goals. Habit number 9, The Instant Gratification Seeker. Instant gratification, the desire for immediate pleasure or satisfaction. In today's fast-paced world, it's easy to fall into the trap of wanting everything now. But here's the thing, constantly seeking instant gratification and indulging in impulsive purchases can hinder your financial growth. It's time to break free from the chains of instant gratification. Practice the art of delayed gratification. Before making a purchase, ask yourself if it aligns with your long-term goals and values. Challenge yourself to wait a certain period before buying non-essential items. By exercising self-discipline and focusing on your long-term financial well-being, you'll avoid unnecessary expenses and have more control over your financial destiny. And finally, Habit number 10, The Mindless Consumer In today's consumer-driven world, we're bombarded with advertisements and societal pressure to constantly upgrade our possessions. But here's the truth, mindlessly consuming without evaluating the true value or necessity of each purchase is a surefire way to stay trapped in the cycle of poverty. It's time to break free from mindless consumerism. Challenge yourself to become a mindful consumer. Before making a purchase, ask yourself if it brings real value to your life. Consider alternatives, second-hand options, or borrowing instead of buying new. By being intentional with your spending, you'll avoid unnecessary expenses, reduce clutter, and have more control over your financial well-being. And there you have it, we've uncovered the 10 habits that could be keeping you trapped in a cycle of financial struggle. Breaking these habits won't be easy, but remember, every step you take toward financial empowerment is a step closer to the life you deserve. Now, it's time for you to take action. Reflect on these habits and identify which ones resonate with you the most. Start implementing small changes in your daily life that align with your financial goals. It could be resisting impulsive purchases, creating a budget, or seeking professional advice to tackle your debt. Remember, progress is a journey, and every positive choice you make brings you closer to financial freedom. If you found this video helpful, 
give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and loved ones. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more valuable insights, tips, and strategies on mastering your money and living a life of financial abundance. Thank you for joining us today, 